In today's video, I'll be going over a case study in which I've been trying to grow a new website using AI. The website is wordrocket.ai. It's going to be a content hub and an AI copywriting tool. But before we launch the tool, I want to rank for some keywords, increase the domain authority and start getting some traffic over to the website. So I've created a plan and I've implemented that plan and I've gotten some pretty good results um, so far from this website. So in today's video, I'll be going over the plans, the strategy in which I'll be using to grow this website. I'll show you some metrics as to where the website is right now. And I'll be regularly updating you guys on the growth of that website because I think it can help a lot of you, especially if you're starting off and you're now growing your first website or if you have your 50th website, but you're trying to leverage AI to grow websites quicker. First, let's start by taking a look at where the website is right now. So I've started creating content on this website about two and a half months ago. So right now, as you can see, it's doing okay. Of course, it's a new website, so it's not doing amazingly well. But for the last three months, we're able to get 205 clicks and we're able to get 4.8 total impressions. So in my experience, that's actually fairly good because I've started or tried to grow websites before. And sometimes it takes a while for you to start getting some clicks. It may take up six months for you to start getting you know, 100 clicks per month. And if we take a look at the chart, it is a little bit up and down. But if we look at the last 28 days, we were able to get around 90 clicks and 2.45K um, impressions. So not bad by any means, it's kind of up and down, but we are um, ranking for specific keywords and we are getting visits to specific pages. Here's the Google Analytics for this website. In the last 28 days, we had 646 users, 622 of them were new. So a lot of new users coming onto the website. Last 20 days, we had 1.1 thousand users and the last seven day, let's see how that was. It was 168 uh, users, so a little bit lower. But again, um, when you're growing a website, especially in the beginning, it's gonna be kind of up and down. But overall, once you're increasing and going in the right direction, then that's a sign that you're on the right path. Now, the content strategy for this website is fairly simple. For majority of the content, I am turning my YouTube videos in which I create on this channel into blog posts. So for example, when I create a video on YouTube, I will use ChatGPT to take that transcript and turn that into a engaging blog post. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how I do that, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to create a video on that. And what I'm also doing is embedding that YouTube video within that article. That's for most of the content. I do have some content here in which I write about novel ideas and things that I think are important within the AI space. But for most of the content, I'm just um, turning my YouTube videos into blog posts. Another reason why I think this website has been able to grow a little bit quicker than some of my other sites is because a lot of the blog post topics are very novel, they're very new. So there's not a lot of information out there about ChatGPT plugins, about Harper AI, about AI detection and things of that nature. So when you're creating content within new emerging and trending places, you have a lot higher chance of you being able to um, get that uh, blog post to go viral or just get views because there's not a lot of competitors within that space. So again, I would recommend if you're creating content within your niche, think about some novel, some new, some trending topics that you can include within your articles or within your blog posts that not a lot of your competitors have done and that may allow you to get more views. So the first focus of this website is to create high quality content. And as you saw from the analytics, you are able to get impressions and get clicks. Even if your content is written using AI, you just need to create very high quality content. Now, my second focus of this website is going to be to acquire high quality and relevant backlinks within my niche. Getting high quality, relevant backlinks is one of the most powerful but underrated strategies when it comes to growing websites. Most content creators just focus on creating high quality blog posts or articles or throwing as much content as they can towards their website. And while that can work, acquiring backlinks allow you to not have to create that much content because you will become an authority within that space. So when you post your blog posts or um, your articles, you'll have a much higher chance of ranking for keywords. Getting high quality backlinks can be tedious, but it's well worth it in the long run. For this website, as we can see here, it is a fairly new website, but I've already gotten the domain rating up to 20, which is much better than most of my other websites. And the way I was able to do so was by focusing on acquiring high quality backlinks. For full disclosure, I do have a little bit more leverage because I have a brand on YouTube and I'm able to leverage that to get backlinks from different sites. But even if you had no leverage, even if you had no brand, I just created a video on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description below this video where I show you how to be able to get high quality backlinks using ChatGPT 
So you have to do no manual work of your own. You just follow that process and I guarantee you, you'll be able to get a backlink through guest posting. There's a lot of ways in which you can get backlinks. As I mentioned, you can do guest posting, which is when you will hit up a brand or a website and you will write content for them and include a link back to your website. Or you can create link bait articles, which are essentially articles that attract links. So you can create an infographic within your niche. You can create a report or an analytics of some sort within your niche that attracts people to link to that um, resource. Or you can create a list of the top companies or blog posts or tools within um, a niche and then message those companies and tell them that you've included them within your list. Would you mind linking back to us? And most companies would be more than happy to do so. So those are just a couple of ways in which you can get backlinks, but um, it is kind of tedious. It is very manual, but as you can see, it is very well worth it because I guarantee you, once I'm able to increase this domain rating, I'll be able to rank for a lot more keywords and the overall security and authority of my website will be higher so I can continue to grow it. So I highly recommend that you focus on not just only creating content, but also increasing your authority within your niche. And the only way that you can really do so is by acquiring high quality backlinks. In addition to focusing on creating high quality content and getting backlinks, I'm also implementing the best SEO practices. So I am using a fast customizable theme. I'm using the salient theme. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. It's a really, really fast theme. You can customize it for a lot of different options and it looks good. Next, I'm using a fast website hosting services. I am using 10 web. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below this video if you guys want to check them out. And I'm also doing basic on page optimization. So I'm optimizing my content. I'm including keywords within my content and I'm updating my title and my meta tags, but I'm not fully focused on fully optimizing my content and my website. I'm focused mostly on creating high quality content consistently and acquiring high quality backlinks because I think those are the two main things that have the most effect when trying to grow a website. So what's working right now using AI to write high quality blog posts, turning my YouTube videos into um, blog posts and also writing on new novel trending ideas. Um, I find that's really um, working well. Inserting videos into the blog post is also working really well because I'm able to get more views from Google um, and I'm able to get more traffic to that blog post. What's also working is value-based exchange for backlinks, so building relationships with different companies within my niche. And looking forward, I will continue to create high quality content and continue to acquire high quality backlinks. Very, very simple strategy. Um, I do think it's important to focus on some other things when you're building a website, but I also think it's more important to focus on the things that move the lever the most, and that is going to be high quality content and high quality backlinks. So if you have any problems ranking right now or growing your website, I guarantee you, and if you've already created a lot, a lot of content, I guarantee you the problem is that your domain authority is not high. So you need to improve and increase your domain authority. And again, you can do so by getting high quality backlinks through guest posting. You can write for other companies. You can create link bait articles. You can create um, infographs. You can create a report within your niche, or you can create a listicle style article in which you list some of the best websites within your company that you wanna get a link from and then reach out to them once that blog post is live and ask them to link back to the website. So those are the things which I'm focusing on right now for this website as I continue to grow it and I continue to get more traffic, I will update you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions about this case study. Let me know if you have any questions generally about growing websites and um, let me know if you liked today's video. And if you did, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.